Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Dice Folk, the creature collecting dice builder roguelike that I'm very excited to be back to here today. We've got ourselves another new faction here, the Wrath Faction. So in we go to see what we can get up to. I think we need to get a win with all four of these to unlock Trial Mode, which I can only imagine is going to be featuring, you know, maybe some Ascension type stuff. Possibly sounds like there might be an additional boss or what have you. Uh, but let's see our first Chimera. We don't have to take it. In fact, it's maybe good not to, but this guy looks like a real... Ooh. He looks fun, though. On turn end, inflict three burn to the opposing leader. Whenever attacked, an affected Chimera takes an amount additional damage equal to your burn. It does seem nice... It seems nice. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, we're one fight away from... Let's get the chess after a battle. We're one fight away from seeing another option. I feel like we want to get uh, a plan. On spawn, gain an amount of strength equal to the number of used equipment slots for the rest of battle. Okay. So there could be like a clash here. Could even be a miss. Got to rotate. All right. We'll just do the reckless attack. We don't really uh, want to rotate you there. Bulk up. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of this. We can do a free rotate. So you have on attack. On attack, lose one strength for the rest of battle. So this guy is going to do quite a bit. He is a little bit spooky in that regard. I think uh, we probably benefit from spreading out our damage taken a little bit. And this guy, you know, he rotates anyways. He rotates our team. Okay, spread that around. We can get the kill. No point for the rotate here. This first fight is actually going to be a little bit tough. I'll take this hit. You get weakened a little bit. That does help. Uh, this could end up being a clash for what it's worth, right? Yeah. Okay, a miss. Thank you. That does help. We'll rotate to get to somebody who has a little bit more damage. Bulk up. Energy shock. Thank God. Yeah, the first fight is actually a little bit tough because you're, you know, you don't have good chimeras yet. You just have the guys, the normal guys. Alright. Uh, the weird nose man when attacked gain two strength for the rest of the turn? I don't know about that. You can obviously increase that. When attacked, gain two strength for the rest of the turn. Let's go ahead and grab you, and I, I'm i going to replace the low HP but not high strength one. On turn end, inflict three burn to the opposing leader. You don't need to be in the lead in order to uh, have that happen, it looks like, so that's, you know, that's good. Obviously going to give the equipment slot to the only one that's actually a chimera there. When KO'd, deal damage equal to their max HP to the opposing leader. I've not dealt with a whole lot of uh, KOing yet. I've not lost a Chimera yet, so I actually don't even know what happens, which it's not a gloat, it's just reality. I just don't, I don't know what happens. We have a random taunt. Okay, that ends up working pretty well. We'll go for the reckless attack. We want to leave you in front, so three burn. It goes down to two. When attacked. So here's the issue with energy shock. Without attacking, do this. So it ends up not technically working right. Why are you gaining strength? You're not. I was gonna say. Didn't know. Didn't know why that was 
technically happening. Go ahead and smack you. We'll get the rotate in here. Burn. You know, it's an annoying amount of damage, but I think it's fine. We just we just blitz it down. We'll go for the healing. We're spreading out our damage so the heal all token can be good as well. We go in here to get some healing too. Because we have indeed picked our character. Grant strength to the chimera of your choice. The one, how about that? Okay, so this is blocking off three locations. So it's a pretty good idea to get that kind of cleared out here. So this is a strength up for the rest of the turn. We have to get the random taunt on. Weird, but fine. You're attacking me, but then... Okay. I mean, it's just okay. Do have to rotate once more, which is a little bit of a waste of the burn. Strengthen one. So this is for the rest of the battle. That's good. And then we'll take the random taunt, which which happened to be on who I'd probably prefer anyways here. Go for a clash attack. Am I willing? I'm willing to lose one gold. We gain the extra gold anyways for killing him. All right. Works fine, works fine. Bonfire Black Market. Let's check the Black Market first, see if there's anything really good. When attacked once per battle, inflict blind to all opponents. They miss their next attack and must try to attack once in order to end the condition. That's pretty good. When you exit lead, the new leader attacks is also really good. I'm I think I'm taking it. So it is a cursed item so we can never get rid of it. That's the problem. Okay. Bonfire. I think I'm going to go for the... Do I go for the stats or do I go for the pouch? I think I go for the pouch early because a, a, an inventory slot is good the whole time. You know what I'm saying? The stat upgrade across the board, it would impact my starter guy. But just my starter guy. You know what I'm saying? So if we rotate... Then you'll go automatically. We can get the kill there. You're probably the one I want to get hit by, because even though you do less damage... Yeah, so yeah, you get burned anyways. Random rotation. Get a good old schmackin' in. Rotate right. We can get you in front, but I mean, what's the point? Not much of, not much of one. I'm just okay with you taking the hit here. It says you're dying, but I don't know why. You're not. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Didn't think you actually were. But spreading out the damage taken is pretty good if we can get to a berry. Force the enemy team to rotate in the desired direction is going to be very handy. Dice Smith. Okay. Without attacking, the leader takes damage. So does the burn... The burn has to be an attack. So things like blast are actually not quite as good. Also, the Wrath starting dice are different, actually. Uh, wouldn't mind a mirror. We do have to get the money for it. I think we hop up here and hope that there's like a... I don't know, hope there's some healing behind it. Because I don't want to have to skip the Elite. Feels like that would be pretty rough. Hmm. 
Yeah, we might want to end up using the, um, the full Healy Dealy. Okay, so you get the burn. Strengthen one is permanent. I don't, well, I guess it's not really that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and do that. Get you the attack, and then a random rotate means the next person attacks. Works for me. We are obviously in, like, some health danger. Unhurt once per turn. Anytime damage received originated from an ally, heal by six. I'll tell you, it is irrelevant until it's not. Gain an amount of strength equal to the number of used equipment slots for the rest of battle. Congratulations, my friend. You get that item that has currently no value. Scroll Master. We could potentially get a uh, new Chimera if it is healing. Enter lead, deal four damage to all opponents. Works really well. You're hurting the most, but we're going to go for this anyways. When enter lead, deal four to all opponents, because... That will... Uh, it's, it doesn't work as well as we would want, because burn has to be from attack. That's... That's pretty... That's pretty weak, I can't deny. Has to be from attack. We might end up swapping that guy out, truthfully. But yeah, we're probably going to go for our heal. For the rest of the battle. I actually think we can do a little bit with this. When there's no more opponent dice, attack the opposing leader. Didn't want to have to use this, but I do think it's a good idea. So basically, I could do the 9 damage, or... I do 9 damage, and then I end up taking 4. It's fine. It doesn't matter if he's in front or not, to be clear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, does four. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That forces a rotate. Which actually might be good. Because, yeah, you uh, attack and then we do the rotate. Because, yeah, if we would have moved to this, we would have got nine. We could have killed the back line, which would have been nice. Let's just do the extra damage while you have the burn. Alright, tricky stuff, tricky stuff. Got random taunt, random rotation, rotate left bulk up. The fact that this technically doesn't count as an attack, I tell ya. I tell ya. So we're gonna leave our last die. I don't want to use it. This is okay. You being the one to attack me for a whopping two does not matter much to me. Annoyingly, you have taunt, so even if I rotate, it doesn't particularly help. Okay. Hmm. I'd rather get the burn on you, because then we can, in an easier way, get more stuff out of here. We'll attack you. We'll get the random taunt. We need literally any attacks, and we're good. All right. That was that was closer than I would have liked. Maybe we can actually get uh, a pretty good heal here. KO'd once per turn, if not in the lead, revives and heals by one. It's unlikely. 
Interesting. So this has two duds on it. It has to not be in the lead when it dies. Yeah, this feels like a no-go. We have the healing thing. I did buy that at the very least. On spawn, grant sneaky to a random ally. Receives no damage from attacks if its allies are still alive. On two turn ends... Is it just the end of turn two? Remove buffs on the whole ally team. Seems, you know, it's a little weird. A little good, a little weird. It's, it's, it is good, mostly, I would say. But, yeah, I think we need help. Inflicts an amount of confusion equal to the leader's strength. Every time it attacks, it takes damage equal to the amount of confusion. Maybe? We could also head over to the dice smith. I don't think anything was 16, though. Move team's debuffs. Inflict amount of burn equal to the leader's strength. Yeah, I don't know. We don't we don't have a, a build that I'm super excited about yet. Obviously, it is quite early. Was this die 16? It's 13. Letting us rotate to a very specific. Sneaky does seem interesting. Once per battle, when attacked, inflict blind to all opponents. I'm going to do it. I think that's actually pretty good. I don't love that it's a cursed item, of course. Alright. So you do four damage, you have four health. We are going to have to pretty much just get you up to full right away. Because we can't, yeah, we can't chance it. Full revive. Oh, it has to be dead. Okay. Well, there we go. One of my chimeras just fainted. I will not be able to pursue my journey if none of my chimeras can fight. And before I can heal this one, I need to revive it first. So I better be careful next time. Okay. They didn't get blind. Illegal. Because he was dead, I guess. There we go. All right. Another random. If it's an attack, you can't. I mean, I'll take that freebie. Thank you. Happy to take the one damage to get that working as well. Rotate to have you in the lead. I mean, we can attack you with this guy. It doesn't actually matter. We can actually force you to be the one who attacks, which is good, because that doesn't happen. Interesting. That was a whole lot of weird. Boss swap. If boss is not in the lead, the team rotates. Otherwise, it idles. Uh, sure. Target a specific one. So we can't get the uh, once per battle. Yeah, it's once per battle. In the name of spreading the damage a little bit, we'll do that. Support attack, target any Chimera. On side attacks the leader. Want to leave your attack for last? We'll do the boss. That sort of doesn't really matter. Would I rather have Chisley in front? I think the answer is actually no. We could swap, we could get Chisley. Yeah, yeah, I guess we swap, we get Chisley's attack, and then we move on. I guess, yeah, that would have been a better call. Is it good enough to waste the rotation there? Not sure. Because that way we could, you know, enter lead again, which is kind of good.
the thing is, I just wanted to, um, I'm going to let you take this hit. It's, it, I don't really care. I wanted to get uh, Strizzly in front so we can start to book this going up here. Get you back in front. You're going to get killed here pretty soon. Does it matter? I'm not sure. We'll get you into the front. Attack the front so we can rotate once more. Enter the lead. We do the damage. Nice and clean. We get the random. Okay. Ends up being net neutral there. We get more burn on the front, which is definitely useful. Random thing. It does have to be an attack, though. I think it's fine. Kind of. We can't rotate you to where we want. We can hope it... Oh. I was going to say, we can hope it fizzles. We want to move this way. We did not... Get you back in the lead, I guess. No. We always we always want to put you in the lead, don't we? If we can handle it. We do this to rotate. We got you in the lead. That does help. The clash is going to be a little bit tight here. But we've got it. We rotate. We clash. And it wasn't even close. Man, this squad is not uh, not cooking yet, that's for sure. Whenever you exit lead, inflict three damage on an opponent three times. On spawn, if it is in the lead, gains two strength for the rest of the battle. If not, it gains two intelligence. It's not cursed, so we can swap it off at some other point. We do get the full heal. Right? Full heal? Question mark? Yes. Thank you. Debris. Slightly increases one or multiple stats. I mean, okay. Let's move towards uh, another Chimera. We're in a new zone. Attack. On attack, deal five damage to its allies. Interesting. Interesting. When KO'd, granted strength to Talus for the rest of the battle. It's an interesting balance there, what we want to do. Get the blinds. I think we want to rotate. So we have six damage to everybody whenever uh, this enters the lead is good. The attack is going to miss from them, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. We have to rotate. Clash attack. I, I'm happy with the clash attack since you have the, um, you still have the blind. It's a little bit awkward. We do need to roll an attack next turn. Otherwise, we're in trouble. But I feel like, don't you, don't we kind of have to? Do we have do we literally have to? Yeah, I think we literally have to. Alright. That felt alright. Impress me. Spell target an opponent inflicts frozen. So three times it can do that. Frozen makes them take 100% more damage from an attack. It's good. It's not great. 
I guess we wait, but I do feel like I really want to grab the... Yeah, whatever. Healing equipment, max HP increasing equipment, or skip. Passive 13 max HP on battle end. Lose one gold up to three times. Sure. Up to three times ever. Should be workable. There's the curse one, but I feel like I want to at the very least get my other Chimera. What's your deal? Turn start if in the lead gain two thorns after being attacked and affected Chimera... I mean, it's, it's thorns. Does damage equal to the thorns value. Does it ever go away? This doesn't say I'm taking the thorn damage. I care the least about you. Alright, so the clash attack, not a big deal. Also not a big benefit though. I don't know why it's saying our strength goes up to nine. It's not the first time it said that. The burn got the thorn. I'm happy to do this here. In clash attack, you just miss it. The clash could be a web. It could be a couple of things that we don't really want. Okay. Oh, is it just... Is it adding the burn for me? I think that's what it's doing. It's just adding the burn for me. That's fine. It's, it's, it's nice. It's just not what I would expect. Yes, it added. It's adding the burn. Gotcha. Okay, that was a lot of hurt, but oh well. Got the seven damage. We do have the burn on us here. Get out of here, punk. Get out of here, punk. Uh, we would rather heal up you because I am intending to replace this guy. Like, real soon. Like, hopefully now. Oh, boy. Turn start. Grant two strength to a random ally, including self, for the rest of the turn. These are not exceptionally impressive. I don't know if I feel like I can wait for a third, though. Oh, man. Do I just take this? Because if we don't take it, we're, we're throwing away, like, some gold and some healing. I don't know. This feels really... It feels really weak, but... I don't know. Not jazzed. If we can somehow get you to die, that actually could be kind of good. We could use you as a, uh, just a time bomb. I am using you as my attacker mostly, but like I don't need to. I think that's fine. We can get the stone hands. 
30 gold. The next Chimera to appear in the shrine will be Iridescent. Probably should check that first. On equip, plus one equipment slot to its allies. That's pretty good. On equip, get 30 gold. You know what? I think we do this. We should have done it. Uh, we should have checked here first, but we're still we're still getting used to the game. We should have checked here first, because then we could have possibly had a better. I mean, what would the buff be? It probably would have been like turn start grant strength to all of your allies, because the iridescent is a shiny and it gives it a buff of some kind. Um, who am I most likely to get rid of? These two actually have some synergy with each other. This one actually doesn't technically have a whole lot of synergy. So I'm actually going to do this. Yeah, I'll do that. Bonfire. Equipment or stats? Equipment or stats? We are out of equipment slots, so let's go for equipment. Most likely to keep you, so we'll do that. Passive, 16 max HP. When attacked, self-inflict frozen. Small chance of healing by double the amount of damage received. A 15% of it. I'm not going to put that on yet. Battle starts. Grant relentless to all opponents, so they survive at one. Battle end to strength forever. Battle starts. Self-inflict six burn, and at the end get 10 max HP. Battle starts, get taunt, battle end, get 20 gold. I actually think that that's beneficial for us here. We will move towards the chest since it's going to have a healing, and, you know, a little bit of healing, a little bit of money for me. So doubling that damage, it, I mean, that scales. That innately scales. Okay, it actually, you have to be the one that gets attacked. That's good. Relatively helpful, a little bit annoying that you are going to be at one and we have to take the spikes, but yeah, the burn and the ice together are pretty useful. Because it does let you set up for a pretty nasty attack. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. We do the six damage to everybody. We go for the range attack on you. All right, maybe the squad's fine. Maybe the squad's fine. Lightly heal a chimera of your choice. I'll go for you. I think it is fine, but I think it will be better later. I do want you to be the one that's getting attacked. We'll open up our path to the chest. My mapping, it's all about opening up options for when, you know, when we want them later. Saving these for when we have the burn on is probably better. Hmm. But at the same time, this is a lot of damage. One damage. Don't care. It's going to miss anyways. So if we get you into the lead, which we can do, then you're dead. Okay. That being said, we want to go for this first. Put the freeze on. 
for just a nasty 24 damage clash. Okay, does help. Oh no, you're gonna be taunted. Whatever will I do? And you have blind, okay. All right, all right. Mm. Plenty of money. Not a lot of places to spend said money. Surely there's a place to spend money behind this. Otherwise, what's going on? Who are you? When hurt, grant thorn to the ally leader. Interesting, interesting. Could be better, but I think we can just like get this fight out of here. Oh, it's whenever hurt in any way. Okay, we got the burn. Oh, let's go. There's a there's a chance. Bonk. You take a nice clean 11 there. We're going to have to deal with the rotate, but I th I, th I think that's fine. Both of them can't do the trade. That on take damage blind thing. I I was right, man. That thing is that thing is nuts. Stop it. Oh, thank God. Here's all the place to all the places to spend money. On spawn, strongly heal, on attacked. Minus one max HP forever. On rotation, deal three damage to all opponents. Passive it. If in the lead, a player's die has a small chance of not disappearing after being used. Ooh. 20%. We need to get something that increases our luck. Save a little bit. Let's check out the uh, the die faces now. Probably should have looked at that first. Hmm. Support attack is good. Once used, it rerolls all unused allied dice. I think. I think yes. Let's go ahead and get. So we don't have to use these. That's a pretty big improvement. And I'll get the attack all token, because genuinely, that could be a game changer. I am a little bit uh, in danger. Mirror. Try and go for like the strength upgrades. Uh oh. Oh, this is about to get bad. Oh, this is about to get bad. Um, okay, perfect. That's what we wanted. 
random rotation, random rotation, random thing. Okay, uh, so it does have to be an attack. We might try and go for like a, a nice little random that way. That could be quite a bit better. Reroll. We could try and fish for another one of the blasts, but yeah, that that was that was a bit tricky. All right. Choose one to gain taunt. Is another option. It also doesn't matter. I could re-roll it trying to fish for another uh, attack, I suppose. Or like a random rotate. I think we try that out. Or we could just get a taunt again. <laughs> okay. All right. Um... Mirror, we could try and get another... We could just get another Clash, theoretically. Which is just good for me. And this is where things will get a little bit dicey. I gotta get a really good... Uh, set up here. Okay. We can free rotate you to be in the front. You are going to have to attack and get the spikes. I think it's worth the payout there for that extra damage. We rotate again. You'll take another three. We can move you into the front so we can just take the spikes and it doesn't matter that much. I think it's okay. That was an elite fight though, right? Right? On spawn, grant two regen to a random ally three times is exceptionally good. The ability to get some re-rolling going is good as well. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. That was definitely a, a little bit spooky. 16 bucks to probably buy. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do it. Confusion equal to your strength. I don't have that much strength, really. That's why I haven't used this. The last thing was a was a die, right? And we just can't yeah. Hmm. I don't I can't afford it anyways. I can't afford it anyways. That solves that. Alright. We have the attack all, we have the heal token. Please don't be another like spike generator. Are you shiny? Or is are you shiny or do you just always have half health grant two strength to its allies for the rest of battle? Half health grant two intelligence to its allies for the rest of battle. Turn end if not in the lead. He heals four to the ally leader. Either attacks or turns in a random direction. So much random on you. I'm willing to do that to just get blind out on all of, all of them. I think it's helpful. I kind of want to spread out the damage, or... Hmm. I don't know. Energy shock. So it has to be... It, it's always you, no matter where you are. Without attacking as well. So you theoretically can do it.
you have one regen on you. Spreading out the damage is going to be a little bit better, though, because we have uh, the 50% heal across the board. If we use this, we rotate everything. Support attack, okay. I don't want to do double per se, because if I'm going to be putting you under half, I want you to be like really under half, you know? Okay. Random rotation. We have a clash attack. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I think it's maybe fine to go for the freeze attack now. The energy shock ignores, and it will just hit me. Okay. Random rotation's fine there. We take the energy shock on you. It doesn't really matter. Do I want to random rotate there? No, but we have to. Okay. Uh, what is this? Confusion. Inflicted amount of confusion equal to the allies. Strength. Frozen leader. That's right. Whenever they attack, they take damage. That's okay. That That's a fine one for me. I would say. The attack across the board there. I actually like the idea of going for the attack all to get you out of the way in the back. Because nothing else changes on them. It's important that you go away. The random rotation, we could get lucky. Sort of. Sort of did. So you get the extra burn. We can put the freeze on you. We don't want you to be the one in the front. I could I could make use of the, the clash, to be honest. I could just make use of that. So I'm going to freeze you. We rotate for you so we can take advantage of this big hit, I guess. Good. He does get a huge strength boost, which is a little bit scary now in hindsight, actually, because that could have been, yeah, that could have been bad. Ugh. Ooh, without attacking, technically. That guy's dead. He can't do the confusion. We are good to go. We never got the strength ups, but we are we are good to go. Oof. We trying. Ooh, we trying. When attack, deal damage equal to the attacker's strength to the attacker. We had it. It doesn't work as good as you'd think. Once per battle when getting a debuff, self-purify. On spawn, gain guard. You know what? This never has happened, right? I think that that item is completely fine. All right. So we do have the opportunity to get a shiny, and it is going to be on the first one. Oh, pile of gold. Okay. It's going to be on the first one, so. All right. Strength up on you. We do have... Ooh. Purify. Remove all leaders' debuffs. Just do that now. I 
I do like the idea of, yeah, just specifically getting the, the blind on everybody before we take a damage from that that one. Feels like it's probably a good call. Okay. If you have to have guard, well, you don't, right? You do. Lucky you! Okay. The damage across the board. I feel like a freeze here is fine. Support attack. I mean, we're going to need to get rid of you. So exit lead, the new leader gains guard. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all because we have to do it. So let's, um, let's smack you, I suppose. All right. Wouldn't mind like a clash with the purify. Yeah, these guys are these guys are exceptionally annoying for us in specific. Thank you. Wouldn't mind a clash. Okay. That's starting to get annoying, game. It's not even a kill, is it? If we double it? No. Why not? Not fair. Actually, if we, um... We do this... Then you can't rotate to anybody. <laughs> I was gonna reroll an empty of theirs. I don't know why, I just felt like it. Uh, you are blinded... Good deal. All right, not bad. Not bad. Perfected, in fact. What the hell? Lightly heal the Chimera of your choice? Who? Passive, plus two strength and two intelligence. Okay. I mean, I could have you not be in the lead. The thing is, you get it when you enter lead, which is why I've been having it the way I do. All right, guaranteed shiny. Ooh. Turn starts. Gain strength. Wait, sorry. What's the first one? What's the original? Gain an amount of strength equal to opposing leader strength for the rest of the turn. Gains. Oh. So it doesn't have to be the leader. Gotcha. Um. I think it's worth it. We got to make sure we have room for this. I think we do it. I think we do it. Gain strength equal to... So it, it can have increased value. Uh, so I think if we have you in the lead and then you get the extra strength, I think that's probably better. I, li I like that. I like that fine. So the, you'll, be in this, you'll be in the front. Turn end, inflict a burn on the opposing leader. When attacks, exit lead, new leader attacks. So going from you to you is going to be quite useful. You're going to be applying uh, how much? Bur a lot of burns. <laughs> seven, seven burn every turn. Give a piece of equipment and receive a random piece of equipment. When KO'd, granted strength to the ally with the most strength for the rest of the battle. That could be a nice, um, 
be a nice backup plan. Why did I come here? I wasted a heal. Why did I come here? Because I see a treasure chest and I want to open it, that's why. It's hard to not want to open a treasure chest. So you go up to 11, just like that. So you need to be attacked. Oh, man. Stupid shield. Oh, wait, oh, the shield works. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if that was going to count. you in the front there. Alright, so you have the burn. Ideally, we can, uh, yeah, we can get you to the front. So what we do is we... Oh, God. We pop you with this. We free rotate to get you in front for a whopping 32 damage. Whoa. We could try and fish for it again. If we want to be really bold. We're going to reckless attack here, though, if we do this. Oh, we kept it. We have the regen. I'm just fine with that. Seven burn for you. Give me the rotate to... Not the right rotate. Not the right rotate. Maybe the right rotate. Nice! We got there, but you're not that strong anymore. Alright, cool. We'll take it. In the event that we have uh, an enemy that doesn't have high attack, but has like a lot of other effects going on, we are in a little bit of trouble, I can't deny. Yes. And a couple... Yes. Three rotates are really good for us. We love a free rotate. Let's open up the path to the uh, the treasure chest where we can get a heal. Hello, I know you. I am you. Okay, good. We do want to attack this guy. I, I wish we would have gotten some of the healing on you, though, but... Oh, well. That's not the one I thought. Okay. Okay, we have the random rotate, which is okay. I don't love my other options. Well, we have the free rotate, though. Let's do that. Let's get that going. We'll do the free rotate to get you into the front. Then I do think we... We freeze here. Will we go for the clash? Pain. Pain. Don't know what that was. Shoot. Should have swapped it to... I, I should have manually done it to you, but if I manually did it to him, then I rotated back to... 
Boshi. It's just not that much value, you know? They got focus, but he is also, uh, he's been blinded. Okay, good, 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 good. We can free rotate to you for a big old attack. I guess we clash since it's a freebie. Cool. I dig it. Grant an ally leader an amount of thorns equal to its own strength is good. Passive, four strength. Exit lead. When exit lead, lose four strength for the rest of the battle. It's just not very good. Whew. Nice. That's an extra burn. I'm not hurting, really, am I? Hold on, how do I check my tab? Okay, I don't need to bother. Yeah, exit lead, lose strength. I just, I don't know if I care. This at least gives us a little bit of a backup plan, I suppose. Clear out some space. I was definitely considering the elite. All right, this squad is annoying. Who gets the tired? You, perfect. Couldn't care less, to be honest. got the six regen, which is nice. Free rotate. We could get lucky. Ooh, wait. We, we got lucky in a different way. I want to reroll the reckless. Nice. Perfect. It's a lot of lot of damage output there. Uh, we can bulk you up, I suppose. We can nearly just kill you with it. We could obviously a bulk up and a range attack is enough. You have five regen, is the thing. Let's. Okay, that's something. I'm kind of willing to take this hit. We're gonna get the five. Five of that is coming back. We don't we don't want the turn to end. We don't want the turn to end here. And in fact, we don't really want the turn to end here either. Uh because we're gonna heal up for four. And depending on what you got. All right, now now we want the now we want intent. Cool, back up to full. Thank you, Regen. Guys, only got 18 health, and he's the the one with the the tank ability. But what can I really do about that at this point, right? Because it's stuck on him, right? Yeah, Nova. I I feel like the guard is maybe better on you, but I don't have. Is it worth putting? It's maybe worth putting it on there, uh, an extra bag slot. You could also just go for stats, but... Ah, uh, sure. We're, we're at full, let's fight the elite, and then afterwards we'll heal if we need to with that treasure chest. Okay, permanent strength up is lovely to see. Thank you.
Oh boy. Lots of randoms. Perfect. If we get the uh, ability to keep the die, then we want it to be something we can do, do again. We didn't get, we didn't get keep it, so it's irrelevant. All right, I want more rotates, more specific rotates. If we do the freeze and then you do this, does it eat up my freeze? My assumption is maybe not. It does. Man, I can't, I just can't get the rotates that I'm looking for. Come on. Yes. Okay. Cool. Now that is definitely scary. You gonna energy shock yet? The good news is he does have blind on, which is very helpful. Okay, we got we got the perfect rotates here. We can do this. We can apply the freeze, rotate back. For a nice 35 damage. Shouldn't really matter who does this. You get out of here. You have focus once more, but shouldn't matter. <laughs> okay, so as expected, you can only have one with taunt. Okay, understood. Makes sense. We go for the bulk up. We can do a random rotate and rotate back. But we're already fine, aren't we? Eh, almost. We could. The thing is, with the AoE, whenever we spin, we would do three damage, so it would have been fine regardless. Pretty good, pretty good. Chocolate coin. When hurt, heal one. There's something to that. We, we still have some randoms. Or some, some duds, rather. We'll get rid of that. Open up a dice smith still. We have how much now? 46. Strengthen one. Repeat token. I don't know what those faces do. Alright. We've got no duds. We do have the uh, the take damage one, but that's, you know, tis what tis on that. Eight. Not good. They don't have, none of them have very high damage. This inflicts blind on all of them anyways, right? Yes, it does. You have more damage than Kitsuna does, so I guess you attack here? I don't know if I don't know if a freeze is worth it, but it's 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 a normal fight, I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Enter lead then attack is a little bit of a rough one. direction I'd like.
Uh, I think that's good. Kind of, it's kind of helpful. We can get rid of you so we don't have to worry about you flipping into the front. You fool. Why do you guys have to be so weak? Got a bunch of re-rolls. Should we desire them? Okay, so you are able to go now. So I think we free rotate to put you in the front. You're, you're the biggest concern left, so I think we take you out. This guy is not, not as big of a problem at all. Works fine. We are out of freezes. You're still blind. Works for me. Get body. Ends current turn and then re-rolls all dice. Ooh. It's actually really good. Alright. What do we got? 19 bucks? What do we want? Leader gains focus. 100% damage for the next attack only is actually great. Strongly heals and grant focus, but grant focus because it's the strongest opponent. Okay. Uh, 50 max HP whenever attacked. Self-inflict one damage. On spawn, gain taunts. Uh, we'll do the leader gains focus because we, um, we can do like a really good freeze explosion blast. Should have done this first. That's the uh, suffering from success moment of doing too good up to that point. Now with 22 bucks, what do we have? Mirror token? Is that... I mean... At this point, I, I should have used that by now, but... My gold, or my strength, never got to a level that I was like, Oh yeah, that would be great. This is such a good backup plan. I think, like, a lot of these are really good um, win mores, but this is a good backup plan to kind of, like, guarantee it here. So all I know is, as best as I can, I would like to keep you in the front at the end of the turn. Rotation once per turn, grant all its allies one strength for the rest of the battle. Definitely a little scary. Unlucky. Taunt over here. Okay, so you can't reroll twice. Hmm. Order of operations there, I am curious. Random. I think we just do that first and see what's up. Okay, so there's the blind for everybody. Permanent strength up for you. Permanent strength up for you. Because we got to do it again. Let's go. Uh, rotate right is not the direction I want. I think we might do the thorns, but it goes down. A freeze is a kill, for what it's worth. Oh, boy. Oh, 
now you can't attack, can you? Yeah, that sucks. As far as taunt goes, I do think we want it on you. Good. All right, so we got the burn on the front. That is ideal. We do bulk up. We do thorns. We do focus. We do freeze. We go for a truly staggering uh, attack. The sad news is he doesn't even get to attack me back. <laughs> That's so sad. Um. Ideal. Now we get to go again. Beautiful. Bonk. Honestly, not even close. <laughs> not even close to close. This squad got good. It was uh, tough to consider replacing the guy that was starting to pick up his value for sure. But good God, that really, really worked. Pain Talisman. The mausoleum has now appeared. You can now explore this new biome. New enemies can appear in this biome. New sacred text. Okay. Whiskerio. Ooh. All right. Extremely neat. Extremely cool. Very, very fun. That run was great. Uh, one more set of chimeras that we can utilize. I mean, obviously, we have all these ones to unlock still, but uh, one more that we need in order to unlock trial mode. So, hey, curious what that's going to be about. We got the pain talisman. They look generally like, uh, you know, like bugs and gam gambos. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. If you want more of this series, if you'd be sad to see it go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Likes and comments are genuinely the way to keep this afloat on the channel. So if you want more of it, that's the way to kind of ensure it. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.